Good day viewers and welcome to another video of mine. Unfortunately, in my last video, we ate into the time for the tabloids. So today, let's give to Caesar what is due Caesar. We're going to uh, love and life. We haven't finished with love and life still. And I will show you the cover picture. And the edition is Monday, September 8th to September 14th, 2003. This is the cover picture. As you can see, 10 beauties on parade for selection. Yes, I assume you've seen the beauties. Yes, this is for the hot-blooded men. But never mind. God is telling us in the Quran, uh, in heaven, you will meet maidens with luxurious eyes. These are not eyes compared to what the Quran is talking about. Uh, uh, what? compared to what the Quran is talking about. Mm. I'll show you that just again. Then under, you have three kills at Ablekuma. At Ablekuma and Bawe. These two places are in Ghana. Mm. It's about land garden. Or land guard. It's about land guards. People guarding land and uh, selling one piece of land to multiple people, seizing people's lands and whatnot. And the land that the land of God, the land that God has made. When we are given birth, you get up and you think the whole land is yours. Mm. No sense in it. Mm. Uh, according to our what do you call it? Uh, our elders, mm, according to theologians, Jesus Christ and uh, John the Baptist were young together. They grew up together and they were moving together. They didn't have a home. They were in the bush eating. No clothes except uh, wool and uh, uh, something made of uh, cotton wool. Uh, well, well, let me say wool. Something made of wool and then skin, respectively, for Jesus and Yahya. And Yahya asked for advice from Jesus. That's John asked for advice from him. Then Jesus told him, if you want advice, I'll give you two things. Do not get angry. They were young by then. And Yahya said, no. That's too strong. I cannot stay away from getting angry. <laughs> Was he right or not? <laughs> then Jesus said, do not, uh, do not look for wealth. Eh? Do not yearn for wealth. Then, yeah, yeah, being an honest man, said, yes, that I can go by. I can go by that one. You see, but these land guards think that they cannot go without wealth. They should learn a lesson from John the Baptist. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, this is A uh, girl disappears from Nazareth school. I think it's long story. I don't think we should go into it because uh, this, like this, is to tell you these things have been happening. Girls disappearing all the uh, every now and then is not new. This is two or three uh, story, and it happened. It has been happening long before 2003, and it's still happening today. So I don't think we should go 
look into it. Okay, if maybe we do this time, maybe some other day we'll go into it. Otherwise, we just brush it aside. Uh, this one I only show to viewers, but I will not read it for some reason. You can look. But you you will not hear. Huh? Uh, the middle uh, that is the middle uh, topic. Mm -hmm. Two brothers comparing their manhood. And so what? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, we'll go to the next one, which is our usual strange. But true, strange. But true. Mm? Uh, congratulator. First story. <clears throat> First story. Congratulator. A New York company produces a small wooden device for the use of business managers who wish to say thank you to their employees. The congratulator takes the form of a clip attached to, to, to a articulated, well, please, I'm reading what I see. Even this, this uh, small wooden device is what is written here, not small. Maybe the minimum may, may be clearer as we go on, but it is small wooden device and not small wooden device. As we go on, we'll see whether it's right or not. So, the congratulator takes the form of a clip attached to an articulated, an is my word, I'll change it to an articulated wooded hand. Employees lucky enough to be awarded this prize clip the machine to their shoulder and by pulling the string can put themselves on the back. That's all. <clears throat> well, viewers can make a meaning of it. Uh, I don't quite understand that, honestly. Then, and welcome gifts. Second story. During the 1997, uh, sorry, during late 1997, the front doors of four old people's bungalows at Castleton in Derbyshire were pelted with groceries night after night. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, night after night. Among the curious gifts were bacon, tomatoes, bread, eggs, black pattern. Full stop. The attack ceased when the police were called in in one of the bungalow's occupants. The attack ceased when the police were called in one of the bungalow's occupants. Mrs. Ethel Brimley said, It is unreal. Weird. If people want to give us food, why don't, why not wrap them? Why not wrap it up and leave it at our doorsteps? And weird indeed. You want to give somebody food and you have, well, the, the funny thing is that they don't want to give them food. Maybe they were them mocking them. You see evil people. Hmm? This is happening in where? Uh, Newcastle. As uh, Castleton, sorry. Castledom in Derbyshire. Hmm? So instead of giving them food, wrapping it and come and placing them in front of that, they rather pelted at them on their doors, wasting the food. Hmm? I don't know. I don't know how to describe some people. Now, the third story is strange cries. Police investi investigated strange cries in the night coming from the cemetery at St. Mary's Church, Felling, Durban. Found a full set of clues and a pair of false teeth, but no sign of the owner, but no sign of the owner. A senior officer commented, 
there are no reports. Oh, it's not reports, or it's report. But let me correct it. There are no reports of anyone looking suspiciously undressed. So this is another sign. We shall show you sign when you look at ayat nafila fak we we on fi am pesum hatta yatabiyana lahum min huwa al-haq. You show you signs from the far ends of the uh that's a Quran quote. You show you signs from the far ends of the world and in yourselves. Hmm? So that you may understand. So the police went there and no sign of anything. The no reports of any looking anyone looking suspiciously undressed. Yet the sounds were coming from the cemetery. That's a sign from God. So uh God <clears throat> Fourth story. First story. Why the sun shines? Until the 1930s, no one knew why the sun shines. It was only then that it was understood that it is a vast nuclear furnace. Hmm? Fifth story. Theory. Benjamin Franklin suggested that clocks should be moved forward in spring to save daylight hours. He died in 19, so, so, sorry, he died in 1790, but the idea was not adopted in America and Europe until World War I to save electricity. So he just, he, he suggested it to save daylight, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yes, to save daylight hours, and it was adopted long after he was dead to save Electricity. Mm -hmm. Obsessed next story. Sith, I suppose, yes, Sith story. Obsessed by horses. George Asher of Joplin, Missouri, was obsessed, obsessed by horses, which he felt to be superior to human beings. He had his hair cut like a mane. Mane spelled M-A-N-E. He had his hair cut like a mane. Had his shoes short with has his his shoes his shoes short with horse shoes. Short is spelled S-H-O-D. Short with horse shoes. And had a harmless and had a and had a harness made with Full wagon. No, you can't get milk. Okay, let me read what I said. He had a, a, a harness made with he pulled organ. He, I don't know whether it's the full organ or maybe it's made with pulled wagon or a full wagon. I don't know. But I hope this nurse will make a man out of it. Uh, in his prime, he entered competitions against horses to prove that to prove he could pull heavier weight. He ate grass, beans, hay, bran, oats, although he supplemented this diet with other food. Asha died penniless in nineteen. 28. So I don't know whether he's, this is collaborating the story of uh, Jesus and John who did not have money and lived in the wild wilderness together. Mm, this one even ate uh, weird food items but supplemented them with other food. Asher died in 1928. Next story, the camel. The camel has never been domesticated in the sense of being friendly to man. It remains a sullen and aggressive creature. That's all. 
Uh, next story is damn it, madam. Lord Port, Lord Port Arlington was invited to an important political occasion at which he walked straight into Queen Victoria. Jumping backwards in a rather surprised way, the Lord, the Lord recovered himself and looking up at her, was heard to say, Damn it, madam. I know your face, I know your face, but I cannot put a name to it. Next story, insomnia. Among the many remedies available to sufferers of insomnia is the book entitled, oh, it's a book entitled, let me read it well, it's a book entitled, entitled is my word, it's a book entitled Count Sheep. On every page, the book features 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 hundreds of hundred of sheep. Another instead of hundreds of sheep. Hmm? Hundreds of sheep. Hundreds, sorry, hundreds of sheep arranged in column and rows for easy enumeration. In all the home edition features. 65,000 sheep, a travel edition, is available, is available fe featuring only 28,000. Mm -hmm. In all the home edition features, in, in all, sorry, in all, sorry, in all, the home edition features 65,000 sheep. A travel edition is, a, is available featuring only 28,000. Yes, we're done with strange but true. Um, <clears throat> yes, let's go to jokes. Jokes, 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 jokes. First joke, a teacher wanted the answer to a mathematical question from his students. This is what went on between them. Uh, excuse me. Oh, pardon. Excuse me. Please forgive me. Uh, I thought I was in my room alone. <laughs> forgive me. Uh, this is what went on between them. Teacher, this is the teacher talking. Kofi, if you have 10 apples and your friend takes five out of them, what will be the result? If you have 10 apples and your friend takes five out of them, what will be the result? Kofi, the answer of Kofi, listen to the answer of Kofi. He says, a fight, sir. <laughs> Mathematical question. <laughs> if you have five, 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 five apples and your friend and a friend takes, uh, if you have ten apples and a friend takes five out of it, what would be the result? His answer was a fight. <laughs> of course, you'll fight. <laughs> uh, people are, are good at uh, cre creation, at creating things. Uh, then second joke, a class teacher gave his students class work to do, and this was what went on between them. Teacher asked, Yemua, what are you doing? Copying Philip's work? Teacher, what are you doing? Copying Philip's work? The Yemua answered, no, sir, I am just checking in case he has written answers similar to mine. <laughs> <laughs> so you were looking into inside his uh, work, and teacher asked you, and you said you were checking to see whether he has written answers similar to yours. But how, the, how does he see the answers similar to yours? He hasn't gone to you. Huh? He hasn't come to peep at your work. You are people at his work. <laughs> uh, okay. 
third joke. There were three boys who attended school up to class two. They met their teacher one day and they asked him for three and they asked him for three questions. Oh okay, and ask let me let me correct and ask him three questions which might which might be asked which might be as when they went in for an interview, mm -hmm. the teacher told the first boy that if he went, they would ask him how many people wanted the job. They would ask him how many people wanted the job. He should say, we three. The other will also be asked why, will also be asked why they wanted it. I'm lost. Okay, let me let me start from let me start again. The teacher told the first boy that if they went, they would ask him how many people wanted the job. He should say we three. The other will also be asked why they wanted it, and they should say because of money. The third, the other will be also, the other would also be asked why they wanted it, and they should say because of money. While the other would be asked when to start, he should say the earlier the better. On their way, they beat up a, a man, and some policemen arrested them. They asked who killed they, they asked who killed him and they said we three why and they said because of money uh, the next joke <clears throat> uh, the next joke Mr. Liar the school principal received a call. Mary cannot come to school today, said the caller. Mr. Lyre asked, whom am I speaking to? The caller said, my mother. <laughs> so apparently the caller is a boy and uh, wanted, didn't want to disclose that it was he uh, making the, boy, uh, the call, but rather said, my mother. Probably the mother has instructed him to make the call. Well, that's how I understand it. Maybe viewers can figure out the joke in it. <clears throat> there was a blind man who sat by the roadside, by the roadside begging. One day, many people came to give him money. And this was what ensured between him and the people. Well, that's what I'm reading what I see. This is what I showed between him and the people. Blind man, oh, please. Whom? Blind man, I think blind man, blind man said yes. This is blind man, oh, please. Whom want you so that I can see you well and collect my money? <clears throat> so you, a blind man, you are telling them to queue well so that you can see them well and collect <clears throat> your money. Okay, next joke. Kofi went to church and was able to get a seat near a pretty lady. He started talking to the lady about love. The lady shouted, Oh, leave me alone. The lady shouted, Oh, leave me alone. Everybody's eyes were on them. So Kofi feeling ashamed, also said, I will never leave you until you accept Jesus Christ as your personal savior. What a wise scheme. Uh, the last 
joke. Two thieves, two thieves, Zosie and Castro, were put in the same cell for stealing a watch and a ship, respectively. The thieves didn't talk to each other for some hours. Castro decided to break the silence and ask Zosie. Remember, Castro was the one who stole the sheep. Uh -huh. So Castro decided to break the silence and ask Zosie, what is your time? Zosie, thinking he was being teased by the colleague for stealing a watch, replied, <laughs> Replied, it is time for stealing sheep. <laughs> the one who stole the watch asked the one who stole the thief. Uh, uh, the one who stole uh, the one who stole the watch was asked the time by the one who stole the sheep, and the one who stole the watch answered, "It is time." Uh, what is it? Uh, it is time for stealing sheep. But the man was honestly, honestly, honestly asking for time. You thought he was mocking you. Then he asked, what is the time now? Then you tell, it's time to, to steal sheep. Hmm? To mock him back. <laughs> Sorry. Uh. Maybe those in the West will know some of these pictures. I will only show. I will only show them. So. so let's go on. <clears throat> Those who are in the West, Western countries in those days. Now let's let's go to Alaji Kokodi gossip. Which I enjoy very much. Let me show you the top of him before we go to Alaji Kokodi's gossip. <clears throat> so, first gossip. That DC and his rival MP. What is cooking? What is cooking says? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so soon, we say. So, so soon we say, oh, what is between you, between you two honorable members of government? Are you chasing the same? Are you chasing the same Denzel? Or it be money matters that is violently pushing you to be at each other's throat. <clears throat> so these are two, two members of government fight him. <clears throat> Remember both of you are addressed honorably or you just told the verdict as NPP used to say years back. NPP is a party in Ghana. <laughs> the wood trade is very lucrative. All the same, it is killing. It is killing out forestry. And because of that, laws are made to check the unsavory activities of wood dealers, especially chainsaw operations. 
people are pending, people are reading lines and meaning into your people are people are reading lines and meaning into your effusive attacks. And this is a big minus to your individual reputations. I am monitoring your activities and hope to capitalize on your shortcoming to give you some nice but bitter treatments in the shortest time. Not with such gossip, but good bash in some columns. Mm -hmm. So this is the newspaper time, a uh, man threatening them <coughs> with exposure, but which he has already done. Hello, second story. Hello, you that Kakafionto refugee. Will you shut up? Under normal circumstances, I should have welcomed you humbly as our customs and traditions demand. But because of your big mouth, you have talked more than necessary. Quoting the wrath of so many country men stroke women, country men stroke women. <clears throat> they say you are no hero nor a saint. They say you are no hero nor a saint. They say you are a coward like the rabbit. You are scared to the marrow with a little ratata ratata do. You claim you are a soldier. A soldier, my foot. I'm beginning to hear more about you and what you have claimed to be all these days. And what you have claimed to be all this while. All this while. D spelled D T H E S E. All this while. <clears throat> Thanks to the national. Reconciliation Commission. I hear you are a coward in the army. I hear you are a coward in the army with a big mouth. With a big mouth, you have projected yourself as an eagle. You should be ashamed of yourself by now. People knew you well before you went on asylum as a refugee for years without, without caring for your people. And now what women are talking you and now what women are talking you are also making noise. Sorry, and sorry, this is my mistake. And now that women are talking you oh. <sighs> and now that women are talking you are also and now that women are talking you are also making noise. Uh -huh. And now that women are talking. You are also making noise as if you are some man of courage and valor, like courage, Koshiga. As for me, my trade is gossip. Mm -hmm. But I like the hot ones. <laughs> yes, uh, her trade is gossip. And she likes the hot ones. Mm -hmm. uh, I've never prayed that the thatched yam the touch yam bands of the old lady should hum, uh, should bum for us to eat. Oh, it should burn. Oh, oh my God! It's for should. I think it should it should be burned, but it should, should boom for us to eat. Please pardon me. It's not my writing. It should boom for us. Should burn for us to eat. For us to eat the roasted yams, but in my in my providence is is eventual sets fire. Oh God! Please pardon me. Uh, I'm trying to make sense of it. If I don't, I'll read it as I see it. So bear with me. Uh, uh, Okay, let me go. For touch yam burns of the old lady. Okay. 
But if my providence, it eventually sets fire to roast them, the sweetness of the pardon they say lies, it, uh, the sweetness of the pardon they say lies in the chewing. Erobiara Anka Erobiara Anka This three language in Ghana, I, I'm not reading it, I'm not getting it well. So let's go on to the next sentence. So the rest is all local language, which I'm not getting well. So pardon me, we can't make any meaning out of it. And the English too is no good. The cult, look, to cult. Hmm? Look at what is written here, to cult. Uh, oh, I've missed the place again. To call the piper so you should pay for the tune as that is right. Oh God. So I think he wants to write, you called the piper. Instead of you called the piper, he says to call. You called the piper so you should pay for the tune as that is right. Watch, watch you math who you old soldier, instead of watch your math, you old soldier. Sorry for wasting your time, uh, <clears throat> viewers. Now let's go to the next story. Talkative chief. You that talk... uh -huh. you that talkative chief, stroke lawyer, why do you cut your nose to a sewara? Why do you catch your nose to da 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 Sewara? Huh? Sewara means it's it's sweet for you or something like that. Huh? Uh, yes, you deserve what your accusers are doing to you. You have no sympathy from me because you are a crook, thief, jeweler, fiero, voyeur. But your your is French meaning thief. So and a we for that that same time. But all the words he used mean thief. Mm? So he's command all to thieves in different languages to call that lawyer. Mm? As a lawyer, you stole your client's money, yet you called yourself a member of the learned fraternity. As a chief, you allegedly killed somebody in cold blood. I don't know if it's the different story or the story we've read already. You still called yourself an honorable leader. You broke jail, went into, went into asylum, only to return home to talk big, like the proverbial, like the proverbial uh, bugalo soldier of old. People saw you feely feely and know and now look at your and now look at your trouble. You should soon you should soon be arrested, tried, and jailed if found guilty. Sure, like sure, like day and night you shall be you shall be you shall be guilty on so many counts on second degree and first degree felonies. Get ready for Sawam Akuse Onipa Bone Food Get yourself for Sawam 
stroke. I could say these are major uh, big prisons in Ghana, and so on, and I could say. Hmm? Only pub bunny four. Only pub means a very bad person. When him who 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 when him who 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 means your your monstrous face. Let me describe it like yeah. When him who 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 your monstrous face or your fearful face. Now let's go to the next story. That party fanatic, that party fanatic, listen and listen well because you are empty and hollow. Anybody, that's another story. Anybody except those mentally imbalanced women, a woman and man can go on the street and demonstrate against what to him or her is wrong, harsh or bad. Or you can demonstrate in support of what you think is right or good, but most are, but most are for the negative. So, if the NDC chose to demonstrate in Kumasi, it was their constitutional right because it was their constitutional right. Kumasi is not for MPP. These are two parties: NDC, MPP, in Ghana. You are wrong. It's not even for President Kufu. He comes from Kumasi as well. He's a lawyer, politician, and president, and respects the rule, the rule of law and democracy. Don't talk ill of him or you, or you sin against the law and God. Uh, demonstrations are free, like all, like all comment except fanatics like you in politics, football, and churches who are against freedom and are bent on the side of violence and strife, and strife even without provocation. Sorry. You better learn more about politics and stop these nonsensical vituperations you keep pouring on the president and NDC. None has done wrong. wrong none has done wrong. You are wrong as a blockhead. Your face looks like a jolly jolly, and truly, you are one because I could see from your pronunciation at the playing field at the Dakuma. Uh, I can see from your pronouncement, sorry, I can see from your pronouncement at the playing field at Dakuma. If you should die, if you should die impromptu and naturally, the world shall be pleased because you are a useless ragamuffian. Look at your thick lips. <laughs> this journalist is going too far. Oh, this is Always insulting people. <laughs> eh? Okay, look at your thick lips, like a bun, like a bantu from the south. <laughs> look at your thick lips, like a bantu from the south. Hmm? Your face, too, your face too was not beautiful, like Andrews, like Andrew Andrews Young. Oh, shut up! Next time I'll fix. And size, and size up. To be. Well, just to show you that I'm only reading from the papers. I think sometimes the journalist goes, the journalist goes too far, just insulting people like that. And I apologize again for laughing. I am human. And uh, maybe I have decided not to discard my past, my childhood life. So, uh, apologies again. Uh, thank you very much, and may God be with us, with us all. Bye bye, Lalikai.